with the NCAA Water Polo Championship and two U.S. surfing titles under her belt, 23-year-old Kaylee Gilchrist is currently training to add one more honor to her portfolio, Olympic gold medalist. Um, it's been an uh, unbelievable process, just kind of growing together with your teammates and also just growing as an individual every day, you know, as an out evaluation, just making sure you're self-improving as much as you can and reevaluating yourself to be where you want to be in, you know, hopefully August, which is a part of that team on top of the podium. Raised in Newport Beach, Kaylee became accustomed to the water and first started swimming when she was two years old. With the help of her father, Sandy, who was a two-time Olympic swimmer in the 1960s for Canada. When Kaylee was eight, she picked up on surfing, and one year later, she was learning a new sport. So we're in Newport Beach, heading out around 68th Street. We like to call this the River Jetties. Um, just growing up surfing Newport, so home spot. So I don't think I started water polo until I was about nine. One of my buddies in third grade loved it and told my parents to sign me up. And once I signed up, I kind of just fell in love. Played 10 and unders at Newport Aquatics up in Newport Beach. So loved it since then. Kaylee became successful at both sports, joining the USA national surf team at age 14, and she started competing across the globe. Some of my favorite memories was definitely traveling with the USA surf team, um, 18 under as a junior, and traveling around the world competing against other countries. You know, I think my most fond surfing memory must have been 2010 when I won back-to-back -back USA surfing championships for 18 and unders. Becoming a successful surfer left Kaylee sitting squarely on the horns of a dilemma. With no college scholarships and with no chance to compete in the Olympics, surfing took a backseat to a full ride at USC and the chance to make Team USA in 2016. But that decision was not an easy one to make. So when I went to my first semester at SC and kind of didn't know if water polo and going playing in a collegiate sport was the right call, and I'm watching all my friends that I surf with uh, competing on the world tour, traveling the world for free. So I definitely struggled, and I struggled probably that entire year until the second half of season, and then I got some more playing time and kind of realized that you know this college lifestyle and college water polo is what I wanted to do. As a sophomore, Kaylee led the Trojans in scoring. Her career at USC crescendo the following season. Um, in 2013, we won a national championship, and it was incredible. We went into five overtimes against Stanford, and actually a lot of the Stanford teammates now where uh, we were competing against. And we got the ring, so you know that was one of my most spe special moments uh, playing. While Kaylee is a huge asset to the team in the pool, she also provides other intangibles. She's the kind of person that you can go to and will always have fun. You'll always have fun with her. She, every time we travel, she's always looking up where we're going, like trying to find the closest place to like do cool things. And like it's all over the place and she's all go, go, go. And she's really fun to have on your team and I appreciate her. Um, if it's good, I try to get out every day. But with pull and the schedule, I haven't been able to do that as much, at least a few times a week though. Despite using a lot of energy at the pool, she still saves some of it for after practice, where she tries to make time to ride the waves. Because once Kaylee's water polo days come to an end, she has hefty goals on the surfboard. Uh, obviously to be a world champion, you know, you don't go, might as well make your goals the highest and reach for them, so hopefully qualify for the world tour and become a world champion. Kaylee continues to balance both sports, and the task directly at hand is to win the gold medal at the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro. For Pac-12 Networks, I'm Andrew Mitchell, reporting from the Cronkite Sports Bureau in Los Angeles.